and I'm going to introduce myself again because I didn't. This is Ginny with learnwithginny.com. I run a home business and I do lots of things. So today I'm going to show you how to easily use Zoom to screen record and make your videos. And then you can just put them on YouTube and redistribute them. Now, the previous video I did on this was called repurposing your videos. But this I'm going to be a little bit more specific about the presentation. So let me share my screen. And by the way, when I do this, before I come on, I actually take screenshots and edit them in paint. You know, if I want to add little scribblies or little notes, or in the case in these videos, I'd be adding arrows to point out buttons. So this screen is your Zoom meeting, right? You start a new meeting. That's step number one. And then if I hit the arrow key to the next, now when I take my screenshots, here's another little hint. I name them one, two, so that they're in order in my folder. So when I click the next photo, it's going to show you the next thing that I want to show you. So in your Zoom meeting, you hit these dots and you hit live on Facebook. You give your stream a name, and when you're live, just like I did, I made sure I was live before I hit record. So I did that. Then the next step is to record your video. You can record it on the computer or in the cloud. This time, I believe I clicked on this computer because I noticed yesterday's recording in the cloud was rather um, fuzzy. You know, it didn't, it wasn't clear, it wasn't very good. And you want quality video. I mean, I know the Zoom videos aren't the best quality, but anyway, you record on the computer if you want better quality. Then when I go to share my screen where I have my screenshots or if you have a presentation, um, I actually have two screens. So you can choose screen two, you can choose a whiteboard, you can even choose different things that you have open, like I had these um, screenshots open that I had edited in paint. So I chose screen two because screen two is where I had my photos open. So that's what you do. Then actually that's it. <laughs> that's how simple it is. I could call this in three easy steps, right? It was one, two, three. So that's it. Um, then you hit end record and if it was recorded in the cloud, it will send you an email saying that it's been processed and you can use it. And if it's on your computer, it's saved in the Zoom folder where your videos are. So I'm going to hit stop share at the top of the screen. A couple other little hints when you're presenting, if you're presenting your company and you have a um, presentation and let's say you have guests on that are sharing their stories and stuff like that. I actually keep notes and I put in bold where I need to click the next slide, click the next slide, share my screen, stop sharing my screen because when I have, it goes smoother if you have these little um, notes, I don't know what, director's notes maybe to yourself. So I have an outline. I literally tell myself to remind myself, start the recording, um, switch the slide, stop sharing the screen so that somebody's beautiful face can be on there telling their story, start sharing your screen so that another slide comes up, you know, stuff like that. And I give myself little notes to make the presentation run smooth and it's pretty easy. So I know you can do it. Make it a great day. Subscribe to my YouTube for more tips. My YouTube channel, it's at Learn With Ginny everywhere on social media. And go to learnwithginny.com if you want some more free training. Make it a great day. I got lots to do today. Always.